what's going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about scream 7 in this video here today so this is just gonna be more rumored speculation not confirmed yet to be confirmed again not official discussions we'll be having in this video so we're gonna be talking about some potential locations that could be used in the film according to what's happening right now because they are scouting locations we're gonna talk about who these three new leads could be character wise and we're going to talk about Patrick Dempsey. We're going to talk about Sydney's rumored role and Ghostface even. Ghostface al alleged motivations. Well, not the motive, but some of their, um, I guess, some of their motivations. While not specifically being the motive, obviously, because I don't know what that is. So, oh, and I'll be talking about those Halloween trilogy and Cocaine Bear stars once again. So just to start off, apparently, according to my source who has been correct about some projects in the past they are scouting locations with a lot of woods and this could potentially be something very much so like sick if you're scouting a lot of locations with woods if you're considering how sick was for the entire film granted i would only see us going to the woods maybe for some type of final act when sydney is trying to keep her family safe you know then the three new leads that daniel rpk told us that they are casting the 20 something year olds those may be these rumored characters remember i brought up sydney's nanny those three leads might be sydney's nanny and then the friends of said nanny because I have heard that the nanny is a leading character. So then that would possibly correlate to what Daniel is saying about them casting three new leads, 20 something year olds, two girls and a boy. So one of them I'm assuming must be Sydney's nanny and her friends, because that's what I've heard. I've heard that Sydney's nanny is going to be a lead. Now, apparently, in the process of Sydney doing interviews to hire this nanny, the nanny was also asked if she had seen the stab movies, which is pretty funny and something you could see Sydney doing. The nanny lied and said that if she had said yes, she probably wouldn't have gotten the job. So I'm wondering, is this nanny a a fan of Sydney's or something? And she's trying to get close to her. We'll just have to wait and see. Now, the killer apparently in Scream 7 doesn't want the happenings to be associated with Stab beyond the costume because you're going to be associated with Stab looking like this, bro. <laughs> but I guess they don't want it associated with Stab beyond that because that's how everyone else has gotten caught, got, gotten caught in the past. So this person isn't trying to do a sequel or a requel or anything like that they're not trying to commentate on that they just hate sydney speaking of sydney sydney's not very popular in town people know who she is and they don't want her near them very angel of death like so to me that sounds like we would be getting scream four and i'm down for this if it explores the residents hate sydney that they have for sydney a little better because scream four teased it with that idiot shouting at her you're just like your mother and then ghostface even hypes it up during their phone calls talking about well what about the town you left behind but it was kept very surface level for the most part sydney's best friend in this movie or maybe just a friend is rumored to be played by the cocaine bear star but that actress might not commit to scream 7 if she can't have 15 days before she has to shoot season 3 of the diplomat so if you know who stars in The Diplomat, you probably already know who I'm talking about. The Halloween Trilogy star, who has also worked with Kevin Williamson in the past and Wes Craven before, is rumored to be playing a Karen type of neighbor who hates Sydney being in town. She doesn't like that Sydney lives there because she thinks that Sydney is a attention whore, some type of fame attention whore. And then there's a confrontation that these two have. Now, Patrick Dempsey. Patrick Dempsey as i've heard got his payday and is locked he allegedly turned down bridget jones 4 which is supposed to shoot in may so that he can commit to scream 7. now here's what's interesting why would he have to shoot down bridget jones if scream 7 was going to shoot in the fall if he shot down this project so he can commit to scream 7 
why shoot it down if it's starting in May unless Scream 7 is also doing what I've stated I've heard. They're going to start shooting the very first day of June, which would fall in late May. And you wouldn't want your schedule to conflict with your commitments and obligations to the preferred project of Scream 7. So it sounds like Scream 7 could indeed actually be shooting in June, maybe even the last week of May. Now, I'm not going to lie, the opportunity to further explore the way Sydney is viewed because of her unwanted exposure from Ghostface is a solid way to give the character purpose. So I hope some of this is true in that regard. Maybe the town even viewed her differently prior to the events of Scream 5 and 6. Maybe they were all just a lot more friendly. But since then, ever since what's happened with Sam and Tara, because I, I think you should use those to build into her story now. Ever since those two movies, her neighbors have gotten shady people started treating her differently in town they're thinking how much longer until this bs is at our doorsteps could you imagine the motive is just rooted in paranoia and fear mongering and commentates on how fear mongering and media manipulation can impact somebody and their mental health our killers whoever they are could be residents in this town of seattle assuming that's where sydney lives they believe Sydney's presence in town could disrupt the peace of said town eventually and decide to just eliminate her. Anyone close to her that could potentially develop hatred towards her. Anything that could potentially lead to a scenario in which this town is put through the ringer all because of Sydney. And see, the irony in it is that they've allowed their fear to overtake them so much they're doing the very thing they are afraid of. You have become Ghostface. Again, it's just, I, I could see them doing something like that where they're commentating on the effects of fear mongering and how it makes people react very irrationally. In this case, you'd be seeing someone who was so afraid or a group of people who were so afraid of Sydney's presence in town after the events of Scream 5 and Scream 6, very worried about how long it was until Ghostface comes to their neck of the woods and starts knocking off their loved ones or possibly even themselves, all because of Sydney Prescott. So they decide to take matters into their own hands and they go after Sydney, try to eliminate Sydney, her husband, maybe even the kids, and anyone else connected to Sydney that could potentially lead to a sour relationship that leaves the door open for that person to become Ghostface. Remember that neighbor that I said allegedly is in this story that hates Sydney? Prime example of somebody you would want to take out because they could become Ghostface. That's just what I could see them doing. It all sounds very interesting if they explore it correctly. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. Your name is a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video. And again, this is not confirmed. I just hope that it's true. And it was very interesting to just talk about and speculate.